This must be Ironshear. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Oh my god. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. If you haven't been watching, we are now getting ready to talk to Poppy in Hogsmeade Village. So here we are in Hogsmeade. We're about ready to start talking to Poppy. Uh, I think we're going to do like a deep brief about the whole fiasco we had at Horntail Hall. So let's head there. Stuff in there? Over here. There's a chest in there. Sorry. Yes. There she is. Hello, Poppy. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar. And Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Me thinks that dumb idea confronting a dragon. Oh, I mean, we'll check on her sure. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Hmm. Let's be honest. Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Vic had a port key that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I think she's I'll let you know when I have dragon. news of her location. Never. Alrighty, oh, and there's a side quest here. Oh, I know what this one is. I don't oh, like this I do hope Mary and her neighbors aren't harmed. Excuse me, sir, are you all right? Just barely, but I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. I'm not so sure. Name's Crispin Dunn, by the way. I trade in the surrounding hamlets. Do the most business in Aronshire. A lovely little hamlet. Just stunning gardens. Just the other day, the Daily Prophet ran an article on its scenic hedgerows. Actually, before I go on, I should ask, are you afraid of spiders? Yes. Yes, I, real life, afraid of spiders. I don't like them. I don't even like daddy long legs. Nah. Um, but in the game, I face spiders all the time. Ugh. Spiders don't bother me at all. You'd be impressed by how many I've dispatched lately. Lucky you. The hamlet's overrun with the vile things, and they're acting abnormally aggressively. I'm concerned about my customers, of course, but it appears that most of the Hamlet's residents fled to safety. It's my friend Mary I worry about. I haven't heard from her and I fear she's trapped in her cottage. Understandable. But why don't you check on her yourself? I would, but I have a crippling fear of the eight-legged beasts, which I, unlike you, seem incapable of conquering. I don't know what to do. Can you think of anyone who can help Mary? 
Why are there so many spiders in Aronshire all of a sudden? I honestly don't know. I've never seen so many spiders in all of my life. It's almost as if someone's breeding them. They've trapped the entire hamlet in webs. I was lucky to escape it all. Mary always has a way with these beasts. It's very concerning not to hear from her. Mary has a way with beasts. It's like someone's breeding them. Hmm. Why is it you can't conquer your fear of spiders? When I was a small child, I was being tormented and chased by a group of local bullies and slid into the hollow of a tree to hide. Within moments, spiders were crawling over every inch of my body. Seemed I'd stumbled on a nest. I couldn't move, paralyzed by fear of the spiders and an equally profound fear of the wizards I knew were just outside the tree. I was there for what seemed hours. I can feel their legs on me now just talking about it. Ugh. Why didn't you ask the Ministry for help? I did. Reached out to anyone who would listen. Tribe Minister Spout old Spavin himself. But evidently they have their hands full with who knows what else. It seems this little hamlet has to fend for itself. I'll try my very best, Mr Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to help, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. They'll find Aronshire southeast of Hogsmeade, just below the train station. I'm a coward when it comes to spiders. Hence the reason I'm not in Gryffindor. Okay. Where is 176? Yeah, we're gonna teleport. This must be Iron Shear. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Oh my god. gosh hey wait this is okay right here this stall the guy who sent me after the absconder that big um uh, arachimantula and now his his little hamlet is being attacked ah the absconder oh. assassin oh, pleasure to see you again can't tell you how happy milo's daughter was to get that watch uh okay I think that's a glitch in the game. But anyway, um. Revenia. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how this is so rapid. Notice of temporary vacation. Due to the plague of spiders, I have decided to temporarily leave my home. Again, this is only a temporary arrangement. I'll be back once everything has been cleared up, and I expect my house to be exactly as I left it. No spiders, no vagrants, no argument. Okay. Is there anything else for me, please? Revelio. There is something. A little... To whomever finds this letter, heed the beseeching of a desperate few. We're stranded atop a roof in Erinshire by a flood of huge and horrible spiders. We have no wands, nor other means of escape. There are only a few of us left. Blinking Manuel tried to swing for safety through the trees. Two of the eight-legged brutes caught him in mid-air. Before they touched ground again, he was clearly he was cleanly separated. His vocal cords were intact, however, based on the bellow he made as they swallowed him. Fighting Bill Stacy finally had enough after a few days and thought he could blast his way through. He was the only one He was the only one what managed to hold on to his wand. I think it's supposed to say he was the only one who managed to 
He barely made it ten paces before they swarmed him. I doubt we'll ever find enough of him to bury. Condolences to his family in Dover. Poor Rhoda Tompkins was the latest victim, but certainly not the last. They dragged her off as we slept. I fear that will be the way of things now, as no one else dares make a run for it. One bit of luck since those spiders appeared, that I managed to charm an owl and attach this message. If the old bird can make it past these arachnid... Make it past this arachnid pneumonium, then perhaps we have a chance to out the week. All that's left to do is hope and stay awake. Holy. Ugh. Okay. Revelio. Hello. Thank you. Uh, I think that's Mary. Where are you going? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Uh, on what planet is this pleasant? Look at these tiny little spiders. This is no, this is bad. This is real bad. Revenia. Okay. Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. H. I have delivered the spider venom as requested. Prompt payment is now due. The new cluster of spiderlings in my cellar workshop have almost hatched. I can provide more venom soon. Once, of course, I have been compensated for my last delivery, Mary Portman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. <sighs> I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. Stupid Mary. Good woman. Alright, here we are at her cellar. Oh, fights was good. Did I mention how I do not like spiders? Revelio. This is where Mary bred the spiders. They're not here now. Yeah, because they all went out there. He killed everyone. Sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. There. A ladder. I'm not sure I want to know where this leads. That I'm gonna have to find out. <sighs> <sighs> Best be ready for whatever I may find down there. Thank you. Rebellion. Lumos. Y'all know red? Yeah, this is not good. Revelio. Hexax, I need to find and destroy all of these before the situation gets even worse. Okay, so there's 12 egg sacks I gotta destroy. Bet you if I go down there, the spiders are gonna come out of the ground. Yep, yep, what I said. What did I say? Fringo! Oh, oh no! Oh. Dang it! Ugh, 
shame you're so foul. Shame, indeed. That's what... Uh, this is definitely going to anger your parents. Revelia. For... I hate to think that they see me, but I don't see them. Ugh. I don't like this. Revelio. I don't know if I should go this way just. Like there's something up there. There's a mandrake kit's enemy. Well, you could pop that up. Mary is a terrible person. Confringo! All of the exacts. I'll let you harm Aaron Shear any more than you already have. I finally found the perfect place to breed my spider colony, and it was quite literally under my nose the whole time. My cellar? Why didn't I think of this before? Why hasn't anyone, for that matter? My spiders are growing big and strong, and the silk they produce will make me a fortune. I'll have wealth at last. No more scrimping on frocks when I'm in town. It'll be marvelous. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Yes. Fall down there where I die. of the spider sacks.
You know there's gonna be them, Skunder. Well, in a Rakimantula. You know it. Find the source of the eggs. It's Ravenia. The queen star. Now there. I hope that's the last spider. I wish I could kill those. Okay, you know there's gonna be. You know there's gonna be. See? See? The unstable spider. No, wait. That's the last one. Oh, she's angry. Hurry. Oh. 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 Nightmares for the rest of my life after that. Revelia. Okay. All right, Crispin. I hate to tell you this, but your friend was a ding dong, and spiders got herself killed by them. Yeah. Oh. Rebellion. All the reds are popping up, but I can't fight them. How to get out of here. There's <laughs> ladder. Wow.
said that travel broadens the mind. Breaking into Alfred Lawley's home wasn't the brightest idea. All right, Crispin. Uh, Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. He was not an innocent victim. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's right. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. And all the people that she got in love So now we're going to attend creation during the daytime. All right. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Not sure why I should have to pay for fizzing whizbees from a tunnel that anyone could have found. But oh well. Alrighty. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWLs will be here before you know it. Let's see, who do I want to? Yes, I bag for now. I haven't been called Puffskeen Dunking once since you brought me that venomous tentacular leaf. I think I am actually braver. Not. Not braver. Hello, Professor. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. 
As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the room of requirement. Protecting so rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? I mean, no? Not at all. I uh, enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. I'm fascinated by one law, and I'd never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Yeah, okay. Glad to see you were paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. I remember Armit mentioning something about gobbledygook. Yeah, he mentioned it alright. Alright, so I think we're gonna end it here. It's been fun. I learned another spell, the Transfiguration spell, obviously. It can transfigure things. So, catch you next time, and uh, I hope you enjoy this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I love you guys. You're so awesome. Bye. Oh my goodness. All those spiders and Mary. Mary, what can I say about Mary? She's a ding dong. That's that's the nicest word I can say. She's a ding dong. She deserves what she got too. But those poor innocent people, they did not deserve it. May they rest in peace. This. Yes.